Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing wellish. Uh, thank you for asking. The body beat down here, Michael. Today is Friday. It's deadlift day. We're going to have a little bit of an intro here where I'm just kind of explaining things. <sighs> That's how we connect, guys, on this channel. Uh, today was a short day at school. It was the kid's last day, my last day. So the afternoon buses, uh, we have to be there about 1030. And then, you know, we're on the road shortly after. So uh, um, anyway, so technically, uh, I could have got my workout done even earlier than normal. But I got home uh, from my route and uh, ate lunch, uh, some lean ground turkey tacos. And then right after I took a nap, which was a late nap, it was like one o'clock in the afternoon. And I woke up at two something, almost three, probably about 2.30 or so. And it's right at 4.30 right now. So whoo, it's all I can do to be in here. <laughs> uh, you know, leading up to today, I had kind of plans of what I was doing here, you know, feeling like I might do something great, great for me. And I still could, who knows? Uh, as you can tell, the bar is on the rack today. We're going to be doing some elevated pulls today. Uh, oh, boy. <laughs> anyway, we're going to do the best we can, guys, and uh, see where it goes. Sometimes days like this uh, go a lot better than we think. So maybe that's the case. Maybe it'll, uh, maybe it'll pick up and I'll feel good. So... Um, we got 135 right now. We're going to do a couple of warm-up sets with 135. And if you watch my channel, you know how it goes. We build up to whatever it is that we're doing. But uh, I like to show at least one warm-up set because why? Because your warm-up set is just as important as the greatest set that you'll ever do. This kind of sets the stage and uh, gets things ready. <sighs> So let's start, guys. And even though I had a couple of comments or maybe one comment about my shrugs that I did yesterday uh, when I went up to 550 pounds, hey, you're not getting enough range of motion, Michael, little buddy. Well, my traps are hurting, so I must have done something right. And my biceps uh, were hurting all the way up to today. So still got a little pain in the left one. And uh, so I must have done something right on my bicep day too, even though I got some, you didn't even do a single curl that day. <laughs> anyway, kids, what are we gonna do with them? Let me get this back here a little if I can. If and I can, if it'll stay. All right. One thirty five. Two twenty five. Thank you. 
If you can see, got a little blood going on. So that's probably some of the problem why I have a grip problem. All right, guys, and just like that, we're done. Short and sweet workout today. Um, ow. Yeah, that's busted open pretty good. I didn't even know that. And I guess it's probably on my pants, too. I don't know. Ooh, didn't even know until I was unloading the weights. But uh, anyway, so I, yeah, as you can tell, probably my grip is a problem. And of course, my my bar has zero knurling on it. It's a painted over bar and it's probably 50 years old. I don't know, I bought it used. So there's no knurling, which might be a good thing. But uh, also I don't use chalk or anything. And uh, so sometimes my hands just get slippery and then sometimes they're really, they get sore. So uh, it's just kind of part of the game whenever you do deadlifts. But uh, still, you know, to get 460 the way I did, and I better have added them up correctly. <laughs> I think I did. So, I mean, I did three sets of 460. The first one, my first set, uh, I kind of had to let go kind of quick because my grip was giving out. And the other two were pretty decent. I don't know if it would have passed in a, any kind of a, you know, contest. I don't really care. But, of course, number one, it's elevated. Uh, but number two, uh, it was I was still losing my grip and having a, a kind of a rough time. So I had to kind of make my little lockout kind of quick and to the point and get going back down. Hey, go. That's really a mess. Uh, but anyway, to, uh, you know, to go from, man, I don't want to be in here working out, you know, I, I'd really do anything right now, <laughs> to doing 460 uh, with, with three sets like that, hey, that's pretty good, even though, you know, there was an issue or two. So anyway, yeah, you know, 
small small steps at a time, and uh, we'll make ourselves proud. And you know, when we can leave the gym or whatever activity it is that we're doing, you know, feeling somewhat proud. I feel pretty good. So uh, anyway, we'll start back Monday. Uh, today's my last day of school, so you know I'm on summer break, so we get a couple months without all that. And uh, anyway, and I know there's no chance in the world that this person will see this video, probably, but there's a young man that rode my bus, and uh, he commented on one of my videos just a little while ago, and uh, he gave me, he actually, you know, he said he was going to miss me. Now, that that's what I appreciate. Uh, this young man, he could have been a problem child, hit the big kid, eighth grade, you know, he could have been a problem child, but, you know, I just, all I had to do is maybe, you know, sit down, you gotta get out of the aisle, guys, you know, make sure you sit down, hey, so, you know, just basic stuff. And it wasn't every five seconds, you know, it was just, you know, maybe a time or two on the, you know, each route or something. So, uh, you know, for him, for him to say that, it, it it really touches uh, my heart, and I really appreciate it. And uh, I know some of the kids a lot of times think that, you know, bus drivers are mean and, and other little cuss words that they want to throw at you. But we're not. We just have a job to do. We have laws and rules that we got to go by. And if we don't do that, then we can get in trouble and lose our job. We can even be put in jail. We can be fined X amount of money. Things can happen to us. So... Uh, you know, it's a different story uh, being a kid and looking up at the big, mean old bus driver and being a bus driver that's in that position. So, and that goes for teachers and all that as well. But uh, anyway, I just want to say thanks to that young man, and I hope that you do well in school. Uh, he's going into ninth grade. So uh, I hope he does well, and please keep your head on straight and don't follow the, sh the masses of mess that you see. Be yourself and be original and uh, be positive, have goals in life, and stay away from girls. <laughs> stay away from girls, okay? And uh, just if you, if you get with a girl, uh, remember, you don't have to have kids. You can have fun without having kids. So uh, take care of yourself first. Get an education. Go to trade school after high school. Go to college. Go to military. Do something that you're going to get some uh, a, a real career from and keep your head on straight stay away from drugs and alcohol smoking all that crap all it's going to do is kill you so that's my little uh my little uh, not rant but that's my little good news kind of thing for the day uh, you know having a someone uh, a kid actually say uh, they'll miss me so i appreciate that and all you kids good luck and uh, everybody if you found something a little bit inspirational here in the video or on my channel, please maybe consider giving me a like, share, subscribe, comment. Let's build a good community uh, with helpful people. And, uh, you know, we're all out here struggling, trying to do something. And, and uh, you know, a lot of times these things are therapeutic. They help us mentally and physically and all the other LEs. So, uh, yeah, anyway, have a good day, a good weekend. Love y'all. Get up, get out, get rad. Do it to We'll see you next time on the body beat down. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!